Breaking news from the Australian newspaper tonight. They have just released uh, the latest news poll. Very good reading for the Prime Minister and for his government. They hold steady. 51-49 as the two-party preferred right now. Uh, beyond that, to the preferred Prime Minister, the Prime Minister Scott Morrison is up two points to 58 to 26 for Anthony Albanese. Uh, the uh, uh, primary vote is the LNP stays at 42. Remember, you have a four in front of it, you win in an Australian election. The ALP at 35, Greens 11 and One Nation at three. And then there's the... Uh, 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 Morrison's personal approval is up. 68 to 27, Albanese's approval is up by 1, 42 to disapproval, 40. So, Jim, obviously you're uh, shepherding through the, uh, the campaign in Eden Monaro. Now, look, history is what it is. Governments don't win seats from oppositions in by-elections. If we're sitting here next week talking about a Labor win, nothing to see here because that's, that's history, right? But you've got a scenario where um, you have the federal party that... Presumably, uh, uh, you know, your candidate would be joining is doing pretty well in the polls. You've also got this state Labor issue, which is clearly going to go for a couple of days in and around the ASIO raid. But um, how are you feeling about Eden Monero? Do you think that history is a, a chance of flipping your way? It's very, very close, Paul. There's no two ways about it. And uh, uh, I, the organisation that we've got running, the people who are manning the booths and making the A-frames and putting the things out, uh, but also the candidate we've got is, is rock solid. And we kind of saw an intensity, I think, in the media this evening, really starting, because this is the last week. We've had two weeks of pre poll, and my wife and I have been from Tuma to Cooma, all around Queanbeyan, out to Yass, and others are doing the same thing in all the areas around the place. Uh, the intensity is really starting now, and uh, I, I think we should be happy where we are, but this is going to be hard, hard work. And I just say to people, please think about the Labor Party and how they chose their, their candidate in Eden Monero. They don't stack their branches uh, in Eden Monero, the Labor Party, because they don't even get a chance to vote. <laughs> we do. We choose our candidate by a plebiscite. The Labor Party have put in uh, as their second candidate, the Greens, which is what you'd expect, but then the Shooters, Farmers and Fishers immediately after that. And that's a group that have sold out to everyone around the place consistently, see. And, Paul, my last point would be you would not be surprised to know that in what is often, not, not always, but often a pleasant environment of handing out out-of-vote cards uh, with all the parties represented, in, in the two weeks that my wife and I have been involved in that, because I was, I was in a sitting week the first week and I was involved this, uh, this last week, uh, the only two parties that got nasty, that got abusive, that spoiled the whole thing were, firstly, the Greens. No one would be surprised about mm. that. And secondly, the hemp. Party. The <laughs> M party. Give me strength. Yeah, they're supposed to be a little more chilled than that. Anyway, good luck for uh, uh, bending history uh, next week.